In this week's message, one word will sum up our time together. It's gratitude. Gratitude is a choice. And I want us to think about that this week and through the holiday season. I'm going to kick this off with a quote from the late, great President John F. Kennedy. And John F. Kennedy went on to say this, As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Isn't that profound? So as we spend our time together this week, there's one word that I want us all to key in on as you remember this quote. And that word's congruency. In its simple format, when it comes to gratitude, now please key in on this, when it comes to gratitude, does the walk match the talk? Now I'm going to ask you to think about your clients. And even for that matter, your future clients, whether you're a sales leader or a sales professional, and key in on this. When is the last time you truly, and I mean truly, complimented, sincerely thanked, and shared deep gratitude towards your clients for doing business with them? And no, and I'm going to catch some backlash for this, but that's okay. And no, I don't mean just around the holiday season like right now. I'm talking about what are you doing every day, every week, every month, throughout the whole year. See, right now, right now at this very time, this is the time to bring back compliments. This is the time to bring back appreciation. This is the time to dig in and have meaningful conversation with your clients. And now is the time to show gratitude. You see, in a world full of technology, there's too many of us that are hiding behind our keyboards to communicate when our, with our clients. Think about that. We live in this technology-crazed world, yet your clients, they're starving for attention. They're starving for affection. And they're starving for real, human, heartfelt conversation. Not sales conversation. You see, gratitude is a choice. You all have choices, but I'm a firm believer in this. You are 100% responsible for how you show up. So here's a question. How are you showing up for your clients? For that matter, how are you showing up for your friends, your family, even the company that you work for? Think about it. Are you proactively leading your life with gratitude or reacting with gratitude? There's a huge, huge difference. Reflect on that one for a moment. Because when you choose to plant the gratitude seed into your life, you are choosing to proactively commit to improving your health and well-being. You see, being grateful, being grateful is spontaneously generated from within. From within here, it's an affirmation of goodness and warmth. Yet again, I know we all have choices. But when it comes to your clients and your relationship with them, expressing gratitude is going to build relational strength. Gratitude deepens connection. Your attitude is always within your control. Make it a grateful one. Make it a grateful one. And I want you to reflect in our time together here this week, and thank you for hanging out with me this week, is gratitude. Gratitude is going to lift up your relationships and your sales results. So here's what I want us to focus in on. Whether you're a sales leader or a quota-carrying salesperson, you must, and I mean you must, express gratitude towards your clients because we know they have choices. There is always someone out there trying to earn their attention and their business. So are you grateful each time your clients choose you versus somebody else? And do your clients know that? We, we all know, we all know there is a boatload, and I mean a boatload of, comp, of competition out there. And we do know this, your clients, again, they have choices. You can't, and I mean you can't afford to take for granted your clients. You must show them love. You must do something special. Tell them you appreciate that they chose you. And then here's the kicker, work your ass off to earn their loyalty. 
because I'm a big believer in this, a proactive, not a reactive approach to gratitude is going to open up the referral door and drive monumental sales growth. So take out a sheet of paper for this one. Take some notes because what I'm about ready to share with you is going to exponentially grow your business. Here's how this plays out and how this opens the referral door. So here's what I'd like for us to do. And this is a great time of the year to do this. Start with your top 10 clients. Go ahead, jot down your top 10 clients. Now what I'd like for you to do is find six people inside of those accounts. Those are key decision makers and influencers. So simple math is going to share with you that that gives you 60 people to proactively show your gratitude towards. Now here's what the, how the conversation is going to go. This is not an email. This is phone or through whatever virtual platform you all want to use. You don't have to use this verbatim. Make it your own. Use the format from this however you see fit, but do this. Again, these are 60 people. You can insert their name, right? Whatever their name is. This past year, key in with me. This is huge. Again, insert their name. This past year, I appreciate the opportunity you have given me to serve you. This means a lot, and I'm so grateful to you and your company. In thinking about your circle of friends and associates, would you be open-minded to bridging an introduction to two or three of them? I'm just looking to have a conversation to share some ideas and some insight. Would this be all right? Now, what this is going to do is test your relational strength. So again, I'm just let's just say, for instance, your average sale is $30,000. And from these asks, you receive two names and introductions. People, this is going to equate to 120 people that your clients have referred you to. This is 60 people inside your top 10 accounts. You're looking for two names. So for this example, we're going to use a 25% win ratio. In other words, 25% of these referrals lead to a sale. People, sales leaders, sales professionals, this is 30 additional sales at an average of $30,000 and you've just increased your sales revenue by $900,000. So what would gratitude mean to you, your career, and your family? I'll leave you with that to think about. I sincerely appreciate each, and I mean each and every one of you, for joining in the movement around Selling from the Heart. Together, we are making a difference. We're bringing sincerity, deep business substance, and true caring inside selling from the heart. We call it giving a rip to your clients and your future clients. Because I do know this, they'd rather connect and do business with a sales professional who sells from the heart as opposed to one who is an empty suit. Have an amazing week.